just uh, you got to give Army credit. They were they were terrific in the first half of the game. You know, we were, you know, kind of back to being sluggish, not moving the ball, uh, you know, just not playing with the level of, level, level of energy that you have to play with to be a good team. We struggled. Uh, really proud of the way our guys fought and scrapped and clawed to get themselves back in the game. Um, you know, that, that, was, that was a positive thing and, and something that you can build on. You're not going to win every game, but when you scrap and claw like that, that's, that shows some character. We showed some character tonight. Um, we just, we were one possession short of, uh, of pulling off an upset, which would have been a great win for us. But, you know, again, uh, hats off to, to Army. We did a great job in the second half of looking at the stats, held them to 22%, 9% from three. We really defended the way that we're capable of defending in the second half. In the first half, we were, we were bad on both sides of the ball. Uh, Coach, I guess, yeah, just going to that last play, obviously Jonas Harbour is a great defender. Um, Alex King, pretty tough mismatch. Um, were you willing to kind of live with Harper defending him on that shot? Uh, I thought we, we, we were switching. I can't, I don't remember what happened on the play, but we were basically switching. And I think they got, they got that matchup off a switch. I'd have to go back and, and see it, but that's what I, that's what I thought would happen on that play. I don't think he was matched up with him to start the possession. Yeah. Um, do you th do you want your team to look at this game and define it more as what happened in the first half versus the second half? Which which half do you want to kind of? Define? I think this this time of year you just have to, you know. I think our guys know we we struggle to come out. You know, it's playoff time now, so you know the lesson that you're going to learn from like, you know, you know, you got to start, you know, you got to start games better. I mean, I think that's there. I just think, you know, understanding that, you know, we didn't, we didn't quit. We fought, we clawed, um, you know, we were one possession away from, from being down 22 to coming back and winning the game. Um, and that just shows you how good we can be when we, when we focus and we get our minds um, right. And we're doing the things that we know we're capable of doing. So, you know, for me, that's, that's the thing that we got to take away from this. Um, and also, you know, we got to be ready. And, I, and our guys know that, you know, there's, you know, right now it's, it's, it's one, you're going to play one game, you know, you got one game and, you know, and you got to go from there. So you got to be ready to play and, you know, we'll show up, we'll be ready uh, whenever we do play. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you guys, especially towards the end of that game, um, when you finally were able to break the double digit barrier and then kind of tie it up eventually with the starting unit, how critical was it to kind of, have the starters out there for the extended period of time with just that level of defensive success that you've talked yeah, about. You know, you know, we're trying to keep guys fresh. The back to back makes you think, you know, I'm looking at the minutes and, you know, we had, you know, three guys, 30 minutes they played, you know, Ethan played 29 minutes uh, on a back to back, you know, that's always going to be challenging. Um, you know, I thought those guys got in, got into a rhythm and we kind of went with it. Um, you know, you know, just defensively, I thought those guys were great, you know, in the second half of the game. I thought those guys were able to kind of put together some stops and, and start to play with, you know, I thought yesterday we played 40 minutes and then tonight we played 20 minutes. You know, that's basically what we got out of it. You know, I thought we played out of the weekend if you look at it, we played 60 good minutes, you know, um, and we were bad for 20. So, you know. Uh, coach, uh, solid or solid effort um, in the second half, uh, considering the um, the poor performance in the first. Uh, what did you tell your your guys at halftime going into the break? Well, I thought we just had to kind of chop it down. I, I you know, I said, listen, you're, you know, we're down you know, 22, you know, uh, there's enough time to win the game. You know, I've seen a ton, a ton of games like this that, that turn real quickly. You know, it's all about trying to get some momentum. Um, and we can, you know, we just try to play the game in four minute segments and just kind of remind them, all right, we, we won that four minute segment. You know, we lost that one, we won that one. And then we, we started to be able to kind of chip away at it. And we just tried to play the game in more four minute segments and not, and not worry about the score as much. Um, and then, you know, trying to get it down to about 10 with between six and eight minutes, if we can get it down to 10 points or so, now you're right there in striking distance. 
uh, coach going into the playoffs now. Um, what do you want your veterans and the guys returning from last year to kind of emphasize from their experience last year that can help you succeed this time around? Well, I think the one thing is like, you know, we, we have to go in with a mindset of defending and rebounding and, you know, and playing with the level of toughness that we played with in the second half. If we do that, I like our, I like our chances, but that's what, that's what we need to do, you know, and then offensively, we just, we just got to get more movement. Um, you know, we're kind of standing and watching, but you know, the, the things, I just want them to, to kind of go in and understand like how we need to play to be successful. If we do that, you know, I'd like, I like our chances. I really do. We just, we can't have stretches like we did in the first half where we, we just weren't doing much of anything. Um, last question for me, coach, uh, individually, uh, Javante came up big in the second half, especially as steal and score late on, uh, how would you evaluate his performance? Yeah, you know, he, he, you know, he had 16 points and nine rebounds, you know, um, you know, that's, that's really good. I just thought all of them, they just didn't quit. You know, you know, Walt had a tough night, you know, he was five for 15. He got some easy ones and missed, um, you know, but he made a big three in the corner here down the stretch, which is nice, you know, but, you know, I just, I just want those guys to feel like, you know, I, like Javante's play was indicative of us. I thought in the first half, we, you know, all of us, including him, we weren't playing with much energy in the second half we got going. We just got to play a full game.